it feels so lonely without the waiting screen, but I was so late getting started that we didn't do the waiting screen. So I'm just going to come on seven minutes early and you get to hear me talk for seven minutes. It's going to be fantastic. We already have 17 people. Hi, friends. Okay, so if you're in here already, one, welcome. Two, go ahead and pop in the chat where you're from. Um, let's get this party started. I'm so excited. It's going to be a super fun night. Amelia, I've been talking to her and I've looked, there's a, we got Indiana, North Idaho. You guys have real winter. So we went up to Michigan for Christmas or after Christmas. And one, we all tried to die because we got some type of virus and it was fantastic to be on vacation and sick. But number two, there was only snow for one day. What is that about? What is that about? So if you're just joining on, we're just popping in the chat and saying where we're from and what we're doing and how excited we are for tonight because I'm excited. It's going to be great. Um, we have a ton of fun stuff planned for tonight and we have a ton of stuff planned for 2023. So if uh, you do New Year's resolutions, besides putting it in the chat, tell me what you do for New Year's resolutions. I know lots of people are like moving away from New Year's resolutions. Um, but I always think it's fun to like think of ideas for the upcoming year. So let's see. Oh, Lenny, you can send me some snow. I don't want the icy roads. No, no. I just want the snow stuff. That's all I want. I was just so like, I was super excited. I told because my kids really want to go ice fishing. And so we were going to do that till we all decided to die with our virus, which was great. I mean, who goes on vacation? One. Okay. So we live in Oklahoma. No, I'm just going to share with you guys. Hi, hey. So we live in Oklahoma and my sister lives in Michigan and we were part of the Southwest cancellation. So what did we decide to do? We decided to drive in a Honda CRV with me, my mom, and three boys, 10, twin seven-year-olds, all boys. Super fun. Guess you got to sit in the back and be a uh, referee. This one. So uh, whereabouts in Michigan? She is in Ann Arbor. So like a little bit outside of Detroit. So it's not like super far into Michigan, um, but we did get to drive through six states. So that was fun because we went Oklahoma, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, and then we go through Ohio for a little bit and then into Michigan. That was really fun. Um, anyway, I forgot where I was going. All Washington. Okay. So not that I know where Spit is it Spanaway. I'm not good with names. My um, sister moved to Seattle in 2020. And so I'm starting to learn more states. We've all lived in Oklahoma or Texas most of my life. Now I'm trying to learn how to navigate all these different places. It's so fun. It's so fun. So, okay. Normally when I get on here early, one, if you're joining us and you're like, hey lady, it's super early. Why are you on here? Normally I have stuff to give away, but last month we spent the entire giving, the entire gathering, giving things away. There we go. Um, if you were the winner of one of those things, guess who hasn't mailed anything out? Uh, I took the month of December off, uh, and while I'm pretending I don't regret that at this moment, I for sure do. <laughs> but I have everyone's mailing, labels, addresses, everything printed out and ready to go. So um, let's see. Oh, it looks like Janet just did the... Um, I don't think it linked it, Janet, but that's okay because I'm going to have Jesse go ahead and drop that link. So tonight, Amelia has a really fun follow along worksheet. Um, it's not worksheet, workbook that um, she has for us. So I'm going to go ahead and have Jesse drop that in the chat for us. If ever if you can have a chat, there it is. There's the link. Um, you can go ahead and download that and be ready to follow along with her. So that will be really helpful. I'm excited about that. So Jesse just dropped that in the chat. It was also in our private online community, which if you don't know, is community.nlhg.org. Please make sure you check that out if you're not a part of it. It is an awesome, awesome place to be. Um, there's no censorship. There's no, you can't talk about this. You can't post this picture. It's really, really awesome. So again, that's community.nlhg.org. And that link um, is in our event tab, the link that Jesse just sent. And then that um, it's also linked on our uh, event page on our Facebook group. So make sure you check that out. Thank you, Jesse. She's like magic. I just throw things at her and she she throws them up there. Um, so make sure you check out the link, get that downloaded. Um, and then we are 
Am I? Oh, no. So, Tanya, it does not, you are not late. It does start at eight o'clock if you're on the Eastern Coast. It starts seven where I am. Um, I always hop on early to do a giveaway from the previous month's gathering. However, our previous gathering, um, we gave stuff away the entire time, but I didn't want to disappoint you guys and not give you five extra minutes of this beautiful face and my wonderful voice, which probably still sounds congested. But let's see. <laughs> I like the banter back and forth. I can't keep up with it during the regular gathering, but I like it beforehand. So again, if you're just now joining us, Jesse dropped a link a little bit farther in the chat, and then we're going to drop it here again soon um, for the workbook to download tonight. It'll be really helpful to follow along, especially if you have to go in and out. I know we've got kids, animals, husbands, wives, all kinds of things that we all have to go back and forth um, amongst these gatherings. So make sure you get that information downloaded. It'll be really helpful. And tonight we're going to be talking so much good information. So make sure you get that downloaded. I'm really excited about it. It's going to be awesome. And I was reading all of Amelia's uh, background and my goodness, that girl's got a lot going on. And I learned how to say a county in Idaho, which I will probably butcher because now I can't remember how she said it in the first place. But I'm really excited. I'm really excited. So um, if you're just now getting here, it is officially time to start. So if you're just now getting here, make sure that you drop in the chat where you're from. Um, and if you do a New Year's resolution, make sure you drop it in there. Make sure you drop it in there. It's uh, We have such a good time going over this. I... Uh, Let's see. I don't see the download when I click on the link. Mm, good to know. Good to know. Let's see. Hi, Natalie. If prior Oklahoma. I wonder where Natalie lives. Oh, wait, that's right. I know. So um, let's see. I can't click on the link myself because if I do that, I'm going to get lost in this world. But make sure you drop in the chat where you are and then let's see if we can figure out. Hi, Cheryl. Ooh, Idaho. Exciting. You guys have real winter. Let's see. Um, we were talking about, let's see, let's see. Oh, okay. So Janet said that we need you enter your email address to get the instant download. So if you get on there, make sure you follow that prompt. I did have to do that earlier. So we're downloading that information for tonight. It's been dropped in the chat. Um, we need if to do, do, do my resolution is to learn one new thing every day, even if it's small. That's awesome, Christine. I love that. So far, I watch a YouTube video on how to change her but way to go, woman. I think that game in is such a fun game. Um, you know, it's interesting. It, I learned it to play with my kids this winter. I think it's fun. Changing a tire is something I need to learn how to do too. We spent an hour and a half at Sam's yesterday getting our tires put on for a million dollars. Stop worrying. That's a good one, Janet. Isn't that something we all struggle with? Let's see. We already have, let's see, what are we at? We have 52 people in here. That's exciting. I love that. So, um, if you are joining and I'm talking and you're like, hey, this was just supposed to start. Yes, it does start. I'm at I'm seven o'clock because I'm control, but I know it's eight, seven, six, five going west. We get smaller. So if you're just now joining one, I'm going to have. Um, yes, we're going to put the link back in the chat. So tonight, Amelia's got an awesome workbook for us to follow along with her presentation. I'm going to have Jesse go ahead and drop that link again. Make sure you get that downloaded, Janet, um, which is Amelia's mom. I, if I screwed that up, Amelia and Janet, sorry. She um, said that you've got to put your email address in to make sure you get the link. So that information will be really helpful for us tonight. Make sure you get it. There it is. Cheryl, let's see. My goal is to complete online. Ooh, fun. Who did you purchase through? That was too fun. That is so much fun. Um, hi, Joan. Oh, Georgia. So I'm going to Georgia here in a couple of weeks with the rest of the executive staff, and I've never been to Georgia. I've driven through it, but I've never like stopped. And when I drove through it, I was sleeping. So it's I, my mom drove through it, and I was in the car a long time ago. So I'm excited to go to Georgia. I'm flying into the Atlanta airport. Should be an adventure. And then getting on a shuttle. So many adventures that I have not participated in in my life. It will be the 
second time in my 34 years of living on this beautiful earth to travel by myself. The first time was to New York City to meet a group of girls. And this will be going to Georgia to meet a group of girls. Well, women. I should probably say women. But regardless, I'm really excited. So there's your, uh, let's see, Carrie out from McIntosh, Oklahoma. I know where you are. Well, actually, I know who Carrie is, but that's fine. Um, I I know. I'm excited, Joan. Fingers crossed. If the timing works, you, I will be places, do things, make, I'm excited to make new friends in Georgia. Then maybe I can go there more often. It'd be super fun. Healing Har okay, Healing Harvest Homestead, Homesteading Family and Schools. Oh, School of Traditional Skills. Interesting, Cheryl. I like that. That's super fun. Um, okay, so I have talked for quite a long amount of time. So I'm gonna bring someone else on to talk. First of all, welcome to January gathering. You, yeah, I know everyone says, can you believe it's 2023? So I don't wanna be like cliche, but it feels like we just did December's gathering and now we're here. So I'm so excited, beginning of a new year, beginning of a new event. I love it. I'm so excited. We have such a fun year planned. I mean, not just virtual gatherings, but on our private online community, we have awesome stuff happening. We have a big event happening in June. If you don't know about it, I'm going to let Cindy tell you about it when she comes on. But we have some big stuff happening this year for National Lady Comes to the Gathering. And I know lots of chapters have fun stuff going on too. So um, I'm really, really excited. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Okay, Cindy. Would you like to come on and start our mission and purpose statement for our awesome 2023 January gathering? Here she is. I see her pretty face coming. Happy New Year's, everybody. And welcome to a brand new year with National Ladies Homestead Gathering. Yes, we're super excited. There's lots and lots of stuff happening. Um, one thing I do want to tell you guys, I, I've taken advantage of it, but if you're not uh, getting emails too from Roots and Harvest, they had some smoking deals over the holidays. And uh, uh, anyways, I just want to do a shout out to them again, because they've been such great sponsors of us. So uh, be sure to look up. I'm not sure if they're running any more deals right now, but keep a lookout for them because they, they did get some pretty good um, percentages off. One of them was actually bigger than what we normally have for hours. So I wanted to let you know about that. Um, yes, we are going to put up a schedule. It's not totally confirmed yet, but we will be putting up a schedule of where we will be. The executive team this year is doing some traveling. And uh, if you're in the area, man, we would love to know that. And if there's enough, we will set up a meet and greet. Um, we've done these in the past and it's super fun for us to meet you all face to face. It's one of my favorite things. Um, you know, I'm not a desk person and all the admin stuff. My favorite thing is actually to meet you all. Um, oh, coming to North Idaho. Yes, indeed we are in October. That is our plan. So we we're hustling to get all the, all the information together, uh, so we can do that, but we're going to be in, I personally will be in Texas at the mother earth news. That one's coming up. We're not able to take the team this time. Um, Part of that is my fault. My daughter is having a baby and it's real close to when it's supposed to be. So I'm going because I'm traveling that way to get to Colorado. Um, and so instead of taking the team down and possibly having to cancel, uh, we decided not to do that. But we will be in Missouri, um, real close to Oklahoma. And we will be in Wisconsin and Pennsylvania and uh, Virginia. And I know I'm missing some. Kansas will be in Kansas. But anyways, look for our schedule that we will have up once everything's confirmed. And like I said, if you're in the area, come find us. And if there's enough, we will do a meet and greet. I saw North Tennessee. Um, I don't Cindy, know. Will that schedule be on the community at NLHG.org? Oh, Jesse, you're so good. Yes, it will be. And it will also be in a newsletter. And it will also be on the website. And so, yes. Um, Jesse is phenomenal. Thank you for that. Um, so yeah, we will, we will post it in lots of places when it finally gets, um, finalized so that you all can know where we are, but until then, oh, the big one in Ohio, if you haven't registration is now open for our national gathering in Ohio, and we will be doing a large part of it at layman's, 
Um, if you haven't heard of it, it is like Disneyland for homesteaders. Their store is humongous. And we're doing a big get together there. Um, anybody's able to go, there's all kinds of information. Go to the website and you will see it under events. Um, but yeah, we're super excited about that. And Rebecca Rhodes is gonna be our special speaker. And for all our VIP members, she we're actually doing a, a special meet and greet just with our VIPs and Rebecca Rhodes. So, um, and then she, she will be coming and having dinner with us and speaking to everybody who's in attendance. So yeah, lots and lots of fun stuff for 2023. It's gonna be a great year. So why do we do this? Well, the purpose is to empower women through homesteading. And that is the reason that we are working so hard to make all this happen. And then how do we make that happen? We do that by sharing knowledge, by building community and by growing friendships. And uh, all three of those pillars are super important to us. And we spend lots and lots of times um, making sure that they are in great shape, that we are working on those and we're planning for the future to enhance every single one of those areas. So anyways, again, thank you all for being on here tonight. Huge thank you to Amelia uh, for her presentation tonight, especially if you're thinking about starting a homestead business, you've got to check out their material. It's very, very good. Um, that is their heart. They actually, the thing that's fun with them is that they have had this business of marketing and helping people build their business. And then they got into homesteading. So it's been fun having discussions with um, Amelia and even her mom, Janet, about what they're learning. And then what uh, I've personally, they've helped me with my website and uh, have appreciated the back and forth on just sharing of the knowledge. So y'all listen up tonight. She's got a lot to share. And um, have a great evening. <laughs> Bye. Cindy, yeah, it's going to be a great evening. And I'm super excited about all the fun things we have coming up. So again, if you're just now joining us, one, welcome. Um, we know you can't always get on here right when it starts. No big deal. Um, tonight, we have a really awesome follow along workbook. So we're going to go ahead and have Jesse drop that link again. Um, she just dropped the newsletter so you can keep up with stuff. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So this um, link that she's going to drop, make sure you click on it into your email address, and that will give you the follow along for tonight. So make sure that you've got that information downloaded. It'll be really helpful. One, you'll be able to keep it so you'll have this information. But two, it'll give you a chance to follow along with Amelia. You know, I'm one of those like interactive people. So if I can follow along and look at this and take notes and not have to wait. It's going to be awesome. Um, as always, we will have this gathering recorded and posted on our website. Um, for all VIP members, you'll get it next Wednesday. It'll be available. And then for everyone else, it'll be available the first Wednesday of February, which happens to be February 1st. And that'll be our next gathering. Um, so make sure you get that downloaded. If you've got any questions, um, make sure you put those in the chat or put them in the question and answers. Um, but before we uh, bring Amelia on, I have someone very special to bring on. It's Miss Miranda Johnson. She shares their Atta Girls every month, and they are part of my favorite aspect of this because I love hearing what you guys are doing, what you're proud of, what you're trying, what you're doing. So, Miranda, where are you? I know she's here. She's coming. She's always coming. There she is. Yay. She's muted, but she's coming. There she is. I'm here now. <laughs> of course, I had somebody call my phone just as I was going to switch things on. So, you know, That's lots of how buttons it works. to push. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, ladies. It is so nice to be here tonight. This is one of my favorite things about Ladies Homestead Gathering is the Atta Girls that we get to share with each other. Once a month, I post on our private community and I ask to share what you've done this last month with us. Um, what have you accomplished? What, what have you learned? What goals have you achieved? And you ladies never fail to send the most inspiring things in. So I want to say Atta Girl to everybody who participates on our private community and an extra Atta Girl for everybody that shares those things with us. So thank you so much, Atta Girls Around. Um, the first Atta Girl I'm going to share is actually Julie, Julie's. Um, Julie posted this month on here and she says that they butchered their first extra cow 
that they've been raising. 445 pounds of beef in the freezer. So I guess they are going to have um, some fantastic dinners over the next several months. So at a girl, Julie. Susan Smith said that she rebuilt um, fences that were down from all of the wind damage and trimmed cow hooves and rescued a young heifer out of a pond. Susan, that is amazing. Um, at a girl. She also said she can dry beans for the first time. Marla Murphy shared that she roasted um, for Thanksgiving to New Year's, she roasted four 20 pound plus birds for parties and dinners. She says the boiled down carcasses and bones after the feasting netted her 32 quarts of broth, 15 quarts of meat stock, and 98 half pints of turkey and rice soup. Um, what I love about reading these Atta Girls is that I know that everybody in our community is taken care of and well fed, and that is fantastic. So, at a girl, Maria. Um, Diana Allen said that her hubby bought all the stuff she needs for canning. She now has a dehydrator as well. Now she just needs to get the courage and fresh foods to can and dehydrate. Um, Diane, definitely dial into those other women around you. Nothing is um, a better teacher than those with the experience. So, definitely. Definitely reach out to those women through Lady Pumpstead Gathering and gain that knowledge just by, by them showing you. So at a girl, um, we've got Rebecca Mike, and she shared that she had her first craft show and sales, her first commission piece, and her husband and her adopted a dog. That is awesome. Um, she says she also crocheted some very chaotic Christmas gifts for her siblings. At a girl. Um, Amy Hamner said that she's put together four out of five of her raised beds. She's so excited to only have one left. It's so nice when we can um, see our efforts ticked off of our list in a visual way like that. You know, one box, two box. Now I only have one box left. Add a girl, Amy. Let's see what else we've got. There's so many wonderful things that are shared. Um, Pamela Wishon shared that she made her first loaves of wheat berry bread. She says her husband loved the chewiness of the berries. She needs to see if she can use her blender to make them into smaller pieces. Um, such a great tasting use, you, it's such a great taste using honey, cocoa powder, and nutmeg. And if you are part of our community, she did share a copy of the recipe there. So let us know if you try it um, and, and let us know what you think. Um, Let's see, we've got Catherine Smith, who said she built two of her four new garden beds to add um, this year. We've got, I think a lot of us in these winter months, January especially, have gardening on the mind because we get, we've got those uh, seed catalogs coming in and we're all checking them out and daydreaming. And I know that my plans for my garden, because I'm staring under snow, are put on hold. But for those of you that don't have a ton of frozen snow on the ground, I'm really jealous that you get to tackle these gardening um, at a girl. So let's take one more. We've got Kimberly Wall says, my son helped me to make a greenhouse off my basement door so we can save my lemon tree. She says it worked, keeping the area nice and warm. When spring comes, they're going to enclose the whole area with a real enclosure made from glass and steel. She says she's lost so many plants that she brought with her because winter is a real thing in Tennessee and she's got a lot to learn. You know what? Experience is the best teacher again. So I'm glad that that greenhouse addition helped save your lemon tree. And I can't wait to see what else you do. So just to, in conclusion, if you haven't checked out this thread, please pop over, share what you've accomplished this month. We want to celebrate what's going on in our communities and encourage each other. So thank you, ladies. Miranda, I agree. If you're not part of the private online community, make sure you join and check out the Out of Girlfriends. You can go back and look at them. They're super fun. I think we have such a mix. Like there's things that I think, oh my gosh, I'm decent at this. And then I learn something new. And then there's stuff that I'm terrible at. And I always find advice. I finally made a sourdough loaf. It's taken me forever to make it happen. And it's because of our private online community. I finally was able to chat with someone on what I was doing wrong and how I was doing it. And it was just, uh, I wouldn't have done it without them. So thank you, Miranda. Thank you, Cindy. And guess what? 
I'm going to have Jesse drop the link one final time for our um, speaker tonight. Sorry, I got sidetracked reading. Amelia commented, and I was like, why is she commenting? Oh, that's right, because she's getting ready to come on. So tonight, we are super lucky to have Amelia and then her mom's running in the background. You won't see her, but I'm going to give her mom a shout out because as moms, we always need a little uh, support and help. But Amelia is a business consultant and a professional writer from a small town in rural, which um, is super fun. It's a family owned marketing agency, which I always enjoy finding family owned stuff, which I know we all do, but fun to have a marketing agency. She spent the last 10 years helping business owners by providing them with the knowledge and the tools they need to succeed. And that's what she's going to be doing for us tonight. So I'm super excited. Her passion is helping homesteaders. So perfect that she's here. Um, she wants to, to help them become financially stable by teaching them how to attract their ideal customers and cultivate more sales. Who needs that in their life? Me, me, everyone that's on here. We all need that. Who doesn't need a solid strategy? And then I know I'm going to butcher it, even though she and I just went over it. She lives in Lata County, Idaho. Maybe I didn't. She'll let us know here in a second. Um, with her family and a big dog. And I forgot to ask her what kind of dog. So maybe she'll share with that. She's also the president of the LHG chapter up there. So girlfriend's got it going on. Amelia, I'm so excited you're here tonight. And I can't wait for you to get on here and share with us. So I'm going to have you pop your happy face on here for a minute and say hi to everyone. And hi. if I've screwed anything up, you just, you tell them Julie doesn't know what she's talking about. I know what's going on. <laughs> so thank you so much. Thank you for having me, everyone. I'm really excited to share uh, the kind of the four best golden nuggets that I've really found um, with all of you um, and those four steps to cultivate your home business. And the reason I say home business is because you can have a homestead business and uh, that's making money off of things that you're producing on your homestead. You can also have a home business where you're able to cover some of the costs of your homestead as well. And um, I know that that's something that uh, when it comes to marketing, whether it's marketing or knitting hats uh, and making jewelry, you wanna have different streams of income. And so uh, being able to have a home business like that where you're more of creating artisan uh, crafts, that also helps you to be able to cover some of those costs. And so I wanna encourage everyone that all of these tips um, are applicable, whether you are a, uh, a artisan maker or a homesteader. So, um, you know, in the recent years, uh, the term sustainability has become really popular, um, whether that's among homesteaders or even small farmers. And um, my personal belief is that this, it goes way beyond just being off grid or growing your own food. I think that this includes being financially sustainable as well. And I really want to be able to help everyone to be able to accomplish that. So what do I mean by financially sustainable? I mean that you have the ability to pay for your homesteading costs year after year and even have room in your budget to be able to grow so that you have that stability and you're able to sustain your homestead. Um, in the past, people relied on one another. They didn't do everything themselves. And that's something that I wanna encourage all of you that are pursuing homestead or wanting to be more self-reliant um, that you also need to have a really good community. And that I think is something that is so wonderful about the ladies homestead gatherings is that you're able to make those connections um, with people that have similar interests. If you're wanting to get into gardening or you're wanting to raise goats, you can find someone in your community that has knowledge in this area that is more than happy to mentor you and that's such an important part of being successful as a homesteader. And so in the past, whether they were trading garden produce or like I said, skills, um, you had a whole community of people working towards that common goal of not just surviving, but thriving. And in modern times, that means selling things from your homestead to the people in your community. That's the way that they can support you you can trade things, you can trade skills, and you can sell things from your homestead to not only make it more sustainable for you, uh, but also so that your community can be able to benefit from what you're producing. So 
a home business um, can be a great way to provide for your family and live a more sustainable lifestyle. There are a number of different types of businesses that can be operated from a homestead. Like I was talking about, you can grow and sell produce or you can make and sell artisan goods, jams and jellies, um, crocheted hats, um, handmade furniture. I've seen so many different creative uh, businesses um, from different homesteaders and people that are wanting to live more self-sufficient lifestyles. Um, with careful planning and a little hard work, which I'm sure we're all well acquainted with, uh, it is possible to create a very successful business that supports your family and provides for your needs. So my goal is to help you make your home business pay for some and maybe even all of the costs of running your homestead. So um, I do have on this next slide here, uh, a link to that follow along worksheet once one last time. If you stay till the end of this uh, presentation, um, we actually will have a giveaway and a free ebook for you um, as a thank you. Um, the four steps to cultivate your home business is to one, determine your signature product. Two, identify your ideal customer. Three, discover what sets you apart from the competition. And four, leverage content marketing. So I'm gonna be discussing these four key elements to success in detail and providing actionable tips on how to apply them to your home business. So on the, ne the next slide here, we're gonna be talking about number one, determining your signature product. Before I get into that, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about what a signature product is. It's, that, it's gonna be that one product that's gonna attract your ideal customer to your homestead. You're gonna have a chance to actually build a relationship with your customers, leading them to buy the other products you provide as well. So you could say your signature product is like a restaurant's signature dish. There could be two different Italian restaurants in your community. So how do they stand out from each other? Simple, they each pick a different signature dish. For one restaurant, they could make their ravioli fresh daily. And the other, it could be a dessert like cannoli made with farm fresh cream. They're both gonna have spaghetti and meatballs on the menu. Their signature dish is gonna help them to stand out and make it easy for people to give them word of mouth recommendations. And that's the most powerful kind of marketing that you can have is having a really good reputation and having happy customers. To make this uh, process of picking your signature product easier, I've made a little bulleted list of the steps that you need to take so, uh, you know, as a homesteader, I hear this a lot. There are so many things that you are doing on your homestead um, and that you can do that can actually be hard to narrow down what you want to focus on as your signature product. Um, so the first step is to make a list of any of the products or services you could create using the resources you currently have on hand. The second step is to narrow down your list by removing anything you don't enjoy doing and that isn't profitable. If you are going to scale your business up, if you're going to uh, be making this your signature product, you want to be able to enjoy making the product or providing the service. Um, and when I'm talking about profitable, um, that means that you're able to cover the costs and still have some money extra to be able to reinvest back into your business or to cover some of the costs of your homestead. So uh, you're gonna be looking at some different products and if it takes a lot of work to make the product, you also have to account, account for your time as well. So uh, if something takes a really long time to make and you get say $20 profit and something else takes 15 minutes to make and you still get $20 profit on that, that one is actually more profitable even though you're getting the same amount of um, money, you're actually getting more time and you can provide it to a larger number of people. So once you've kind of gone through your list of products and services, um, from there you should pick your top three products and services. Um, and like I said, wait till the end for a free ebook. It's gonna make the whole process super simple of being able to pick that signature product. We have a bunch of questions in there and um, like different like worksheets and all of that that make it really easy to be able to actually 
breaking that down. And like I said, that can be tricky for homesteaders just because you guys have so much going on on your homesteads that you can do. It's hard to pick what you should do. So uh, if you have any questions about this, be sure to put that in the question answers for after the presentation um, or in the chat and I will get to those questions afterwards. Um, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the second step. And that is identifying your ideal customer. Um, this is really important. Um, many business owners unknowingly sabotage themselves by attempting to sell to everyone, everywhere, all at the same time. Um, and the winning formula is focusing on a very specific group of people that are ready, willing, and able to buy your products and services. So let me give you a kind of an example. Who would be the ideal customer to market your farm fresh eggs to? A, a vegan, B, a chicken farmer, C, an out-of-state mom, D, a local mom who's looking for more nutritious food for her kids, or E, all of the above? The correct answer is D, of course. However, if you're not focusing your marketing efforts on your ideal customers, your answer is E, all of the above. And that can be a huge waste of your time and resources because the vegan doesn't want farm fresh eggs. Chicken farmer already has them and the out-of-state mom, they can't get them. So this is an example of um, how you can focus on a very specific target demographic, that ideal customer of the local mom who's looking for more nutritious food for her kids. She is ready, willing, and able to buy your product. So as you're doing this, the way to be able to think about who could be my ideal customer, you wanna ask yourself a couple of uh, questions. Um, what problems does your products and services solve for your customers? And then from your experience, what kind of people have those problems that you're able to solve? What kind of people need your products and services the most? People who need what you are selling are gonna be way more motivated to buy from you. And that's what you wanna focus on, people who are already motivated to buy from you. When you are uh, focused on finding and marketing to your ideal customers, it is gonna to totally maximize all the resources you put into your marketing. You're going to get a higher return on all the time, money, and energy that you've invested. And um, one of the cool things that I've seen is that uh, everyone that I've taught about ideal customers, and everyone that's put that into action, they've become so much more confident in uh, their branding choices, their so writing social media posts and their blog posts because they are reaching out to the people that are motivated to buy from them and they are seeing immediate results. It's all about building a relationship with people and providing them with solutions because people, um, if you're able to make their life a little bit easier, they are going to be super fans. And that's exactly what you want. You wanna be able to have that word of mouth recommendations. Um, and I like to call the internet uh, word of mouth at the speed of light, because you're able to, people are able to connect with their friends and family over uh, long distances, pretty much 24 seven. And so you're going to be able to build up that community of people that are motivated to buy from you and motivated to tell their friends and family about the solution that they've found. Because if they're struggling with the problem, their friends and family likely are as well. It's having this uh, ideal customer figured out is uh, having that clear picture of what your ideal customer wants, needs, and what their challenges are it really takes that guesswork out of communicating with them. And that's what a lot of people are doing. They're kind of operating in the dark, trying to guess what uh, is this post going to um, get everyone to come to my website? Is it going to make them interested in my products? And so um, on their blog, they might post a recipe or they, and then the next day they might post something about the local weather or, and they don't know what information they need to be posting they don't know what information their customers need to know um, in order to turn them into 
paying customers because you want to have that transition where they're a potential customer, they're interested, and you want to provide them with the information they need to become that paying customer. And uh, being able to figure this out is like having a treasure map that shows you exactly how to do that. And it really uh, is empowering. And so I really encourage you after this presentation, um, really take a moment to think about your ideal customer and um, figure out who they are specifically. If you need uh, any help with that, I'm of course happy to help. So uh, the third step that I wanna to talk to you about is determining your unique differences. And before you say, oh, I'm not unique, I don't have any differences, you're wrong. Everyone has a unique difference. And I am passionate about this because I have coached many homesteaders who are like, I just provide farm fresh eggs. But a couple minutes into the conversation, they're starting to discover those unique differences left and right. And it's so important because it makes you feel so much more confident when somebody comes up to you and asks you about your business, you're not just like, oh, I just sell eggs or I just sell garden produce. You know exactly what the difference is between you and the person next to you. And you're able to help them with a very specific solution. You're able to explain to them why they should buy from you instead of somebody else. Um, so the goal here is to figure out how you're going to sell to your ideal customer. You, even if you don't have any competition, especially in your local area, it's still really critical that you define those strengths and differences that you have uh, because it makes it so much easier to promote what makes your business special. Um, you, it'll be easier to write sales pages, blog posts, social media posts that convert those potential customers into paying customers because you know exactly what information they need to hear to be able to make that decision. So when I want you to ask yourself, what makes your products or services unique? Do you, do you use a unique process, ingredient, or method when you're creating your products or providing services? What if you feel like your product isn't unique? Well, then you need to ask yourself, what extra value are you bringing to your customers? How are you going that extra mile for them? Um, what are the things that people say uh, really brings them back for more. If you already have some customers, actually sending them an email or giving them a call um, and asking them if they have purchased your products and services multiple times, they're going to be more than happy to tell you exactly how they feel because they love your products and services. So they're more than happy to help you out with that. So going to the next slide, um, once you've discovered your unique differences, now you need to define your features and benefits. So sometimes this can get a little confusing because people think of features and benefits. What's the difference? Well, features are facts about your products and services. It's, you know, a dozen eggs. That's how many eggs it is. Benefits are the positive way those unique differences and features are going to impact your ideal customer's life. So farm fresh eggs are more nutritious. And in particular, my eggs are, uh, have more uh, you know, omega fatty acids in them because I feed my chickens this or that. Getting very specific into your unique differences, your process, how you do things so that you can explain to people why they should pick um, your product and why they should pay your price. So you wanna make a list of your signature products, features and benefits. You can of course sell other products and talk about the features and benefits of those products. But by focusing on your signature product, that's going to attract your ideal customer to your business. That's gonna kind of be the hook that gets them to come in that, to your website or to your uh, you know, farmer's market booth to be able to learn more. You can provide a array of other complimentary products, but your signature product should be that one that you know, you're like, I do this super well. I have, uh, I have a unique difference and I have clear benefits. That's what you wanna focus on because that's gonna be so much easier for you to be able to share with people about that. Um, once you've written down all your unique differences, strengths, features, and benefits, 
it's time to narrow down all of those benefits to discover the one that your customer will care about the most. That's just my, uh, that's just my dog, Teddy Bear. He wants, anytime that I'm doing a presentation, he wants to know who I'm talking to. <laughs> he's a uh, St. Bernard Poodle mix. So he's big and cuddly and very smart. So going on to the next slide, uh, knowing your unique difference is really essential. And I'm gonna say this again and again, because it is so important. If someone can't understand how you're different from your competition, they're not gonna know why they should buy your specific product or even really know how to refer your business to your friends and family. Remember, word of mouth marketing is the most powerful kind of marketing that you can have. And so you wanna make it super simple for people to know exactly how to tell uh, their friends and family why they should work with you. So I'm gonna do a little exercise. I want you to think about the lady in your community that sells farm fresh chicken eggs. Don't know which one I'm talking about? Yeah. But what if I asked you about the lady who delivers farm fresh chicken eggs or quail eggs to your doorstep every week? Now you're thinking about a very specific person. Ta-da! The benefit of a unique difference. So now that I have told you all about why you need a unique difference and why you need to also outline your benefits, I want to talk about step number four. And that is effectively using content marketing. So two of the most popular marketing strategies are paid marketing and content marketing. So what's the difference? Paid marketing, also known as paid advertising, is a form of marketing where you pay to have your ad placed on a platform. That could be Google, Facebook, Instagram, that sort of thing. The advantage of paid marketing is that it allows you to reach a large audience quickly and effectively. Downside is it can be pretty expensive and you might not always get the results that you're looking for. Content marketing, on the other hand, is all about sharing useful information with the goal of attracting customers and converting them into paying customers. While the ultimate goal is to expand your audience and bring in those new customers, you're going to focus on providing valuable and useful information instead of only pitching your products and services. It can be a lot more sustainable way to grow your business because unlike paid marketing, which stops once you stop paying for it, uh, content marketing can essentially live on forever uh, online and continue bringing leads to your business. So before I go any further, what exactly is content? Content is blog posts, website articles, product descriptions, social media posts, podcasts, or videos. It's basically any way that you're using to communicate with your ideal customer. That is content. And that's what I mean by content marketing is that you're going to be sharing that information through different forms, uh, whether that's through text, through uh, like an audio, like a podcast, a, a presentation like this. Those are all ways to be able to do content marketing. So how often should you create content? This is a question I get all the time. Uh, we suggest based on our experience that you publish a blog post and send out a newsletter at least once a month. And you should also try to post on social media at least three times a week. And I say at least because you can, uh, it would be even better if you could post, do your um, blog post and newsletter once a week, post on social media three times a day. But this just posting once a month and sharing on social media three times a week is going to get you that momentum that you need to be able to have time to spend on your marketing. Because you only have a certain amount of time to be able to spend on marketing. You might not even feel like you have any time to spend on marketing. You can spend 15 minutes a day doing just a little bit of marketing. You're going to be able to get enough income coming in that you're going to be able to justify spending more time reaching out to customers. And so it's important to start with an obtainable goal that is going to get you results. This schedule gets people results. So if it does sound like a lot of work, it actually doesn't have to be. So here's how. Start by writing a blog post or a website article. Then 
take a quote from that and put that in a newsletter and talk about that in your monthly newsletter and then post quotes from that on your social media page uh, three times that week. You can even schedule them out. Now you've taken one piece of content, one article, and you've turned it into a newsletter and three social media posts. Now you don't have to spend a ton of time doing it. And people are really benefiting from that because you're getting the SEO benefit from the blog post on your website. You're going to be able to reach out to new customers on social media, and you're reaching out to your established fan base through your newsletter. So that's three different groups of people that you're reaching with one article. So why is creating content so important? Well, content marketing attracts the attention of your ideal customers, and that can be one of the hardest things to do. So doing content marketing is such an integral part of any successful uh, marketing plan and should be um, like the focus of your marketing plan, especially if you're doing it all on your own. Um, this is, uh, anybody can do content marketing, so it doesn't require like a degree or anything like that. It doesn't cost you a lot of money to do content marketing. Um, and it actually is pretty simple to add to your schedule. So it is a um, effective way to be able to reach out and then nurture those uh, relationships that you have with your potential customers. It actually delivers three times as many leads as all the other forms of marketing because you're focusing on what I call old world style marketing, building relationships and providing them with information that is useful so that when they're in the uh, market to buy what you are selling, they're gonna think of you because you are someone who they've connected with and you have provided them with information that they needed. Um, businesses that use content marketing have almost eight times more visitors to their website. And content marketing pre-sells your products. So you can be pre-selling your products with your um, social media posts and your newsletter while you're out doing morning chores. So you don't even have to be there 24 seven, you know, trying to call people up. You're not doing that. You are just doing your blog post, your newsletter and your social media posts. And that's going to be working for you while you're working on your homestead. And Something that's important to know is that search engines like Google and Bing actually reward websites with, that have new content by placing them higher on search results. So that's going to give you a boost right there uh, on your SEO, which is search engine optimization. So running a home business can be very rewarding and profitable way to live but it takes hard work and dedication. I know that all of you are up to the task and um, I am here to help you to be able to accomplish your dreams this year and to be able to start uh, making money off of your homestead so that you can be truly self-sufficient and financially independent while living off of the land. Uh, I actually have created a three month course that will walk you step by step how to attract and sell to the people who are ready, willing, and able to buy from you. After finishing this course, you're gonna be able to consistently post on social media, send your newsletter, and write blog posts without the stress or overwhelm. But I'm gonna be going way more in depth on some of these topics and even more information. And I just make it super simple and I do it all in plain English because we don't have time for any jargon or anything like that. We want it to make sense and we want it to be clear. You're gonna be able to consistently post on social media. You're going to be confident in the steps that you're taking that they will result in more sales because you're gonna understand the concepts behind how your marketing works. That's my goal is to provide you with the knowledge and tools that you need to succeed. And by removing that guesswork, your anxiety is gonna be replaced with confidence and your business is going to thrive. So on the next slide, um, if you guys know Gretchen Hayes, the owners of Gretchen's Happy Homestead and the president of the Shoshone County chapter, um, here's what she had to say about our course. This course has all the pieces I've been missing in my marketing, like figuring out who my ideal customers are. I love how it breaks everything down into bite-sized pieces I can actually do 
while managing my homestead and working my full-time job. I've taken other courses before, and this explains everything in a way that makes sense. Making the three-month content plan was so easy after going through all the other workbooks. Uh, this course d includes 12 bite-sized modules with strategies that are easy to understand and implement. Um, all the, it includes all of the workbooks and planners that you need to make that effective marketing plan um, and start making sales so that you can actually be able to start covering some of your costs right away. You also get access to our private community to ask questions and interact with other business owners um, where you can find an accountability buddy and post questions for our Q&A videos. Speaking of which, be sure to add, add any of your questions um, to the question and answer function here on Zoom or in the, um, the chat so that I can be able to, to answer those questions. Um, and we will be providing you with weekly accountability emails with quick link downloads and um, one live Q&A every week in the private community. The most important thing about all of this is the accountability. We're gonna be here to get, help you get through each lesson and answer your questions, encourage you, or maybe kick you a little in the butt. <laughs> the point is that we're gonna help you get this done so you can have that self-sustaining homestead that you've always dreamed of. But wait, there's more. <laughs> we really wanna support the local chapters of Ladies Homestead Gathering. So we're actually donating 25% of every Gromore sales membership from an LHG member to their local chapter. Um, and as a bonus, if we do get more than 20 people signing up from the fundraiser, we're gonna increase that donation across the board to 35%. We really want this to be something that not only helps build your community, and that's why we're investing um, in your local chapter, um, but we want to be able to provide you with the knowledge and tools that you need to succeed. Um, that's why we also offer 10% off to any um, VIP members. You can find the coupon code in the directory um, so if you are ready to get started, you can go to sml.ink forward slash grow more sales to get started. It's just three payments of $50 a month. And um, like I said, you can get 10% off the whole entire course. Um, and we are actually going to be giving away uh, three memberships um, today to this course to people who are attending live. Because again, we really want this to benefit everyone. And so that is our goal in everything that we're doing to design this. So thank you so much. You made it to the end. Um, as a thank you, we, ha a, we have a gift for you. Uh, just go to sml.ink forward slash LHG to get our signature product ebook for free. Uh, that is going to make it super simple for you to figure out um, your signature product. Thank you again so much for having me. Amelia, that was awesome. Thank you so much. Yay. That was so phenomenal. I learned so much. I Gretchen is in here right now and she says it's worth every penny. So thank you so, so, so much. Okay. Like she said, if you guys have any questions, I know we have one question in the Q&A. So I'm going to go ahead and hop over here. Um, it's how do we even start a blog post, web page, or newsletter? For example, what programs do we use to build these? Are they free? Do they require payment? I'm sure that's something that you discuss in your course, but do you have any insight for now? Uh, yes. Uh, when it comes to starting with a blog post, uh, I always like to actually start with um, talk about your top benefit and just actually record yourself telling someone else what your top benefit is mm -hmm. and then go back and listen to it and then write down all the good stuff you said. Super that's simple way smart. to be able to write your first blog post uh, because you have all this information inside of you. You just need to be able to have a minute to stop and think it through. So uh, when it comes to starting a web page, we actually do have a, a website platform um, that we made specifically for homesteaders. So if you guys are interested in that, you can find out more information um, on our website, smalltenandrule.com. Um, and Newsletter software, uh, the website that we provide also includes newsletter as well. Um, so uh, it kind of comes all in one package. So it just makes it super simple. So you don't have to have like a huge learning curve um, because that can be the trickiest thing because a lot of these softwares out there that might be free or low cost, um, 
they are going to have a huge learning curve. Okay. Um, and so it's kind of an investment of time versus money. And so we wanted to kind of bridge the gap between that. So our platform has all the features you need um, while being way more affordable than some of the other platforms out there. That makes perfect sense. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Um, Lindy asked in the chat, what application, oh, hold on, sorry. What application or online site do you recommend for blogs, websites, home businesses that may not be homestead focused? Uh, again, um, actually, we've been providing websites for 20 years. So, um, <laughs> so you. So, yes. yes um, so actually, there is, I can also provide you a link with that as well. And so uh, you have, basically, we created a version of our platform that we provide for a small town and rural businesses um, for homesteaders specifically. So you have the option of being able to choose the um, small town and rural business edition or the Cindy Ball edition. She actually helped us develop all the features on that um, with creating her website. So that's awesome. 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 Ashley in the um, Q&A asked, is there a web hosting fee associated with the website? Um, it's all included with the subscription, so it's uh, $50 a month, and um, we actually host it on our own server, a lot more secure than some of the options out there, um, and that does include um, nightly backups and security upgrades. So we take care of all of that for you, so you don't have to worry about, like, um, some websites, it'll be like, hey, you need to upgrade this or that. We take care of all of that for you as soon as the upgrade's available. That's awesome. That's so neat, Amelia. I think the other, we have one that said approximate cost for blog sites. Um, yeah, that's $50 a month um, covers the, there's like a ton of features and stuff that comes with that. Um, but uh, Janet's actually dropping some links there so you guys yes. can see that because that would be a presentation in and of itself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I have no doubt. I have no doubt. Okay, so I'm going to, so I have done a couple of things and this is nothing uh, wrong with me. I, we're getting ready to do our giveaways. So I'm super excited about that. So we're going to, I'm going to share my screen and we're going to give away two memberships tonight for everyone that's here. And then next month, like she said, all of my VIPs that are VIPs right now, I will run the report for all of you that are here. And then I'll compare it to all of our awesome VIP members that are a part of NLHG. I'll run that report, get those names. Um, because Amelia's program is starting in February, I will um, let the person know who won ahead of time. It's very fun and interesting because we've never done that. And I'm kind of excited about it. But I'm going to let them know ahead of time. And then I'm going to let the rest of you all know at the beginning of next month's meeting. So if you are not a VIP member as of right now, guess what? I'm not running that report till tomorrow. You can run over and join um, as a VIP today and uh, I'll get you taken care of. I'll get you on that list. So we are going to have three total winners, two tonight. One we will know by the weekend, but it will be a surprise. It's going to be fun. Okay. Oh, well, I have another Q&A. Let's see. Does the website hosting last for a year until renewal of membership? Yes, it is for a year. So it's a year subscription. Um, and then uh, you can sign up for another year or you can go to a month to month after that. Perfect. Okay, let me share my screen. Here we go. Yay. All right. So I have everyone's attention. So let's see who we get first. Dun, 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 dun. I take pictures. Congratulations. Sure. Okay. Remove. Then we're going to do another one. This is even better. I like this. Doing two things at once. Okay. Here. I had to think about this one. Um, there we go. Ashley. There we go. All right. Okay. Congratulations, you guys. Yes, thank you guys so much. It's so exciting. All right. Um, so that's it. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Okay, 
So um, Amelia is actually going to be over in our breakout rooms. And if you guys have never been here, one, normally I have let Jessie leave by now and she has started her breakout rooms and people can start heading over there. I made her a host of this meeting and she can't leave. So, <laughs> you got her captive. So I have her captive. I know that uh, Miranda is going to try and head over there and do it for us. But my bad, Jesse. I'm so sorry. I've tried to undo it for like the past five minutes when she texted me. Well, she told me 10 minutes ago. Um, and I just, I'm holding her hostage. So <laughs> if our breakout rooms are a tiny bit behind, 100% my fault. But what's going to happen is um, I'll drop the breakout room link here in just a minute. And then you guys can head over there and Amelia will pop into each of our rooms and answer some questions one on one, give you a chance to have some personal time, ask those questions that maybe you haven't thought of. So that it should be super exciting. So I'm going to get that link for you guys. But like I said, yay for Julie. Uh, she for sure is holding Jesse. I'm so sorry. And I guess Jesse could technically drop this link so I don't screw up more things. But 